Moving on from a drama series full of murder and mayhem, I'm pleased to introduce a writer and presenter of a program that's closer to our hip pockets. Craig Rucastle from The Checkout. Good to be here. Craig, welcome. Now, this is a bizarre concept, comedy and consumer affairs. Where... I agree, who, I agree. And look, who came up with that one? Well, this is it. No one is more shocked, I think, by the success of this than I am. I, it's a mystery that it works and that people like this show. It's kind of, it is a totally bizarre mix of often, you know, highly detailed information and consumer law, which is always fascinating, but linked with jokes. And I'm amazed it's watched by anyone, to be honest. But the first rule of television, really, when it comes to complicated material, is to keep it simple and amusing, isn't it? Yeah, well, this is it. I think we're trying to cover up that... We, we thought that you could find simple answers to a lot of these questions. It turns out they're generally very complex. The reason you're paying more or, you know, is this the healthiest thing or not, it, it's not a simple answer. So once we realised things are so complex, I think we just thought we'd, we've got to keep juggling while we tell people this information, and that's what we're doing. Oh, well, let's see what you've done. Love, 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 skin care made simple. Don't spend your money on all that crap. Skin care made simple. Let's sit you down now for some facts. If you want to make your skin look nice, no need to pay a high price. There's some basic things to look for when you go into the drugstore. He means pharmacy. What are you worried about? Wrinkles? Obviously. That's why I'm a Revita lifter. Wrinkles made simple. Look, first of all, you need to ignore all nonsense words like proxylane, stimulift. But they sound so science-ish. If an ingredient has a TM after it, like Boswellox, it's probably a load of Boswellox. How, how do the advertisers and, the, and the, the companies themselves feel about it? I mean, this is a touch of the old Graham Kennedy IMT, sending it, rubbishing the commercials, in a sense. Yes, although we're not being paid for by then. That's the great thing about being on the <laughs> ABC and doing this, is that, you know, we've got free reign to go after the companies. We, we tend to write letters to them, and I know that we've, we've heard that, you know, getting a letter from the checkout is not a good day <laughs> in many companies. Do you... I mean, any possibility of being sued? Well, we are being sued at the moment, All from right, the oh, first great. story of the first show. So we're still being sued because of that show. So... It, it does happen, but generally speaking, we, we try to be careful about it. It's interesting, we've, we've just gone the next step on that kind of skincare range. For this season, we've actually... We made up our own goop, like we made up a, our own skincare thing just from rubbish <laughs> materials, and sent it away to one of the kind of places that does all the clinical trials. You know, they come, everything's yeah. clinically trialled. <laughs> and we've got some great results to show with our own rubbish. So maybe we'll just go into the, the skincare business after this. I wish I'd seen that before I spent all that money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Free fun time. Yeah. <laughs> but that has a lot of production value in it. I mean, uh, and you're churning these over at, what, what one a week out? Yeah, How far yeah. ahead well, are you? It, it does take a lot of production and, and it's been great. The ABC, we, we've, we've learned over the years doing Chaser style shows how to make things look good on a low budget. And we just, uh, yeah, that's great. And uh, this is it, because we keep coming up with different concepts for everything, you know, like there's always some ridiculous idea behind it. You know, the other day I was reading Consumer Law in the morning and trying to figure something out, and in the afternoon I was writing a donkey. That is pretty much... <laughs> that summarises the checkout. Well, it is pretty furious for you, particularly as, as the kind of lead actor and presenter. You just don't seem to stop moving through the show. No, it's a, it's a fast-paced show, and, I mean, I, I blame me less than Chaz... Uh, Chaz and Julian, who are also from The Chaser, work on this, and Chaz particularly wants everything to be incredibly fast. Like, in the future, if Chaz is allowed to make television, <laughs> you'll never be able to... No, he's very fast, Chaz. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Very quick. We, very we've quick. witnessed that exactly. recently. <laughs> but I think this is it. The bizarre thing about that show, and the thing that's a big surprise to me, is how many kids watch it. Like, you get all these 10 and 12-year-olds coming up to you saying they love the show. And I think partly we try to keep the pace up to keep their interest in it, whilst, although some of the older audience does complain about it a bit. But it's kind of interventionist television as well. There's a kind of lesson and moral sort of stance to be learned from this. Yeah, and, and look, we are learning as well as long as we go. I mean, as we do the show, we also learn. So we actually got a, uh, one this season, Check Out Chumps, which is kind of us explaining where we've been totally ripped off. And we constantly find these things where we go, oh, we do a bit of research and go, we've been ripped off for years, great. <laughs> so we're no different. I mean, everyone, everyone comes out of it kind of go, figuring out, I think, that we've been misled at some point. And that's, that's the constant battle of this show, is to <laughs> inform people of that. Well, I, I sort of love the information I'm getting, particularly about gender issues. Take this Body Glide anti-chafe balm. Triathlon lube, it's a thing. And it's great for feet, 
thighs and upper bodies. But Zoe, we're ladies. We don't have upper bodies. <sighs> we have feet, thighs and bras, which is why we need Body Glide for her. Wait, aren't our bras on our upper bodies? No, Zoe. <laughs> That's why our version costs nearly 60% more per gram than the original. Because according to Body Glide, we ladies need a petite size product for carry-along convenience. Because there's no way a woman could carry a normal Body Glide? <laughs> and you don't have to be a lube-using triathlete to feel the rub of gender marketing. It comes with everything from shaving cream and depilatory cream to styling powder and eye gel. And we might not even realise it's happening because we only look at our section of the store and ignore anything that's not obviously for us. How much rehearsal do you give your long-suffering actors? Very little. I uh, they pretty much get on set and do it straight away. But that's, yeah. you know, it's so quick we can just cut around them. Yeah, but this, guy, this is the thing where we're constantly discovering stuff like that where you're paying more for exactly the same thing. We, we constantly, you know, if you put... If you get, sell sorbolene, if you call it baby sorbolin, you can, you know, charge almost twice as much. It's an amazing thing. You, you realise the extent to which marketing is yeah. the active yeah. ingredient in things. Do you know what I, amazes me? You know, you sort of think, OK, you did one series, but there's a whole new world of, you know, consumers being ripped off in one way or another mm. that's going to sustain another series. I mean... Yeah, it is must, amazing. Your research must be incredible. Well, one of the great things about this show is that a massive amount of the research is done by the viewers. We get the most incredible amount of feedback from viewers who go, you should look at this, you should look at this, you should right. look at this. And, you know, some of them are quite full on, <laughs> but it, it is amazing. So the show itself is, you know, we did product versus pack shot where we show, you know, what the real thing looks like. And oh. now it's predominantly sent in by the viewers kind of going, I just opened this and it looks like this. So it's a, it's a great show for feedback like that. This is perfect. Look at this. <laughs> There's something about that shot of the close-up of the single it's strawberry. One of the favourite things I've ever seen. It's actually really yeah. rude. But this is what's great now, is that now people just, you know, at home when they open their thing, they go, hey, this is a bit of product versus pack shot, let's send it in. So mm. that's, that's the only thing that's made us get to this series, is, is that the, our viewers actually writing in oh, That's us. so interesting. Mm. You know, that you don't have to employ a researcher. They're just all out <laughs> just there doing the nothing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> ABC mooching off the public again. Yes. <laughs> but the other interesting thing is that your, your audience contributes in other ways, doesn't it? Yeah, well, they send in videos as well and send in complaints on F YouTube. Who knows what F U stands for? But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, it's been great to have that interactive element of the show. Well, Craig, who are you fanging in the new season? Yeah, well, uh, because we're a bit late, not a lot of it's prepared yet, but we are looking at what happens if you buy a lemon of a car. That's one of the issues we're looking at. So what can you do if the car you bought has a fault? Well, 21 faults. The Australian Consumer Law applies to all new and used vehicles bought through dealerships. What about cars bought at a private sale or auction? No. So just like any product that we talk about on this show, the car bought through a dealer has to be... I know, I know. Acceptable quality, free from defect, fit for purpose, and last for a reasonable amount of time. Do you want my job? Is that what you want? The ABC? But if your car is not of acceptable quality... This car you sold me gets terrible horsepower. Yeah, but it's got great mileage. Yeah. 